What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. So today's video is going to be a good one. This is a video that we have been wanting to film for quite some time. Obviously, as you read by the title, we are gonna be fishing with an underwater camera, getting some underwater footage for you guys. Now, we bought a camera like two years ago and we have yet to film this video, but today we are gonna be doing it and hopefully we really get into them. Brandon, what is the plan of attack? Well, plan of attack here today is to get on top of some more fish. We've been out here this morning and uh, we've been hammering some perch and some crappies and we wanna do some underwater footage for you guys. We've already got plenty of holes drilled. We're actually out here with our good buddies, Paul and Gunner. Looks like Paul's hooked up with a freaking giant right now. <laughs> so yes, we are gonna be uh, drilling out some more holes and uh, just kind of exploring this bay here. We found some structure. We actually found a crib that is loaded with fish. Absolutely loaded. We thought this would be a perfect time, bring out the underwater camera and just show you guys some of those live strikes. So we're gonna be walking into the shack here, get away from some of these sleds. We actually drove out here today, as you can tell. Nick's got his truck out here. It's a little dirty, needs a bath. So let's go ahead, let's go in the shack and see if we can get hooked up on some fish. Show you guys the setup. So we've got our Eskimo shack. We've got some holes drilled out in there. What we're gonna be using today is the Frostbite Pantastic Rod. We've got that paired with the dinner bell. We've got two of them. So let's go ahead, head in the shack here. We'll show you guys what we're rocking with here. I'll leave one over here for Nick and one over here for me. Not much room in this compared to our uh, no, compared to the clam. <laughs> We've got two shacks. One's an Eskimo, one's a clam. Clam's like a six man. This is definitely like a two man. It's a little bit smaller. So we're gonna grab the underwater camera. I've got my uh, Markham set up here. We're sitting in about, what, 26 feet of water, I believe right now. And there is a crib right below us that we found. So I'm gonna go ahead, grab the camera. We're gonna send it down there. We're gonna show you guys just how massive the school is. Well, first drop <laughs> down with the underwater camera. This is super cool. There's fish all over the place. It'd be awesome to get some actual strikes <laughs> on the camera itself. Oh yeah, there is. Oh my God, look at them all. <laughs> you gonna eat? Oh, he you tried. Wanted, he wanted it. This is so neat. This is our first time actually using our underwater camera to like record for you guys. <laughs> look at all we fish are down there. Oh my goodness. Why didn't that crappie want that? That is crazy. That one above him looked pretty big and now he's swimming away. Here comes one. Maybe this one will come and say hi. Bluegill? Yeah, that's a bluegill. Oh, oh. We're getting bumped around <laughs> by fish. That's what's hitting the camera right now. This bluegill, it looks interested. It's so cool. Oh, he tried. Oh. <laughs> all right, well, we just raised the camera up a little bit higher. Still a ton of fish. Look at all these bluegills. Oh my God. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Tons and tons of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a decent one. It's a better bluegill, but wow, you can wow. really see it. They all wanted this dinner bell, apparently. Holy cow. <laughs> there was like five or six of them all at once that just. There you are. <laughs> Oh, look at this crappie. Look at this. Oh, oh, got him. Right in the lip. Oh, that was so cool. That was awesome. <laughs> Not a very big one, but you can tell how aggressive these crappies are when they come in. I mean, that bluegill did hit too. Right? Yeah. Like, wow. This is a blast. This is like. <laughs> this is so cool. Actually physically watching them eat on the camera is awesome. Okay, dropping it back down. Oh, a perch, look at that. Or oh, is that a walleye? That was a walleye. That's a walleye. Look at that. What the heck? Wow. Man, that'd have been cool, huh? It's neat to actually go through and see the size of the fish and decide which one you want. That's a decent crappie. So cool <laughs> watching a freaking strike. You gotta be kidding me, that is so neat. That's a nice one. Not a giant, but. Ah, get up here, buddy. Wow. Yeah, you're not gonna get any like true size. I mean, you'll catch, the average seems like nine, 
to what, 11? Yeah, You'll maybe get a 11. couple, maybe 12, 13 if you're out here all day, but it's definitely a fun lake. As you can tell how many fish are down here right now to where you can just, you know, take the wife, take the kids, even just yourself come out here and just pound a ton of fish. Oh, here comes one. Crappie. <laughs> Dude, it's like automatic. That is insane. <laughs> there you go. Man. That is nuts. Everyone's just kind of cookie cutter, but wow, this is crazy. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using here quick. This is, hopefully this will pick up, but this is the Frostbite dinner bell. This is the micro size. And this thing has been absolutely destroying crappies all year long. And we're not even tipping it like Brandon was saying. We're literally just sending it down, straight spoon, jigging it right on the spot and these fish are crushing it. And just like that, there's a crappie. <laughs> just eat it. That, what kind of effort was that? <laughs> This one's gonna give you. Oh. 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 A little late on the hook side. He'll want it again, though. Oh, yeah. He's sizing it up already. Oh, <laughs> turned on it. Luckily, there's a couple fish. <laughs> Look at this bluegill coming in right now. Oh. Oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> How did he miss that? Lots and lots of fish on this structure, especially late into the season like this. Those fish are going to gravitate towards these areas. And you can see they are so concentrated on this one little piece of structure. Oh, little perch, he's got it. Oh, <laughs> was that the perch? I don't know. I think it's a bluegill. Oh, it is the perch. It is the perch. <laughs> little perch. Wow. Can't that is so that. cool. So the bluegill love the dinner bell. The perch love the dinner bell. Crappie. Man, We've even caught so walleye. Oh, you got to get her back down there. Fish the I'd like to catch a few more crappies. They're definitely... That's a nice one right there. Oh yeah. I'm just try to get it right in front of them. That's definitely one of the better crappies we've seen out here today. That looks like a decent one back there coming in. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. That's a nice size crappie right there. Oh, here we go. Oh, he just took it in and spit it out. It's coming back. Oh, that's a nice crappie. That is a nice one. Come, Come on. on. Third time's a charm. I won't miss this one. I promise. Uh oh. Oh, bumping the camera. Here comes another one. And I missed him. Oh, no. Oh, oh, where did it go? Where did it go? He's all charged up. <laughs> He's revved and ready. He's just got to find it. There we go. Oh, no. Wow. <laughs> he only gave me five tries. Uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. Uh -oh. You, got, you got a camera right next to you. You're touching. Oh, I'm sorry. Very good. <laughs> I wanted to show you what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nice one. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> We're out here with some friends. That was a sportsman. <laughs> they just tossed it across me. <laughs> Oh, that is a good one. Definitely one of the nicer ones today, huh? Yeah, wow, that was so cool watching the fish freaking come in. It just, it like actually get to see them physically eat it is definitely something cool. There is a pile of crappies now down there all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Got him. Slammed it actually. Definitely came up and, and ate up. Coming through there. Oh, another nice one. Just incredible. <laughs> the amount of fish that are on this structure. And Brandon's just being a trooper, not even fishing. I'm I'm intrigued. Like I enjoy watching this probably just as much as you guys at home yeah, do. This is crazy. You guys are enjoying this video because this is something we've wanted to film, trust me, for years and years. That's why we bought this camera originally. Uh, not only to find structure on lakes and stuff for walleye fishing and all that, but it was to eventually film an underwater video. We just haven't been able to get around to it. You have to know like a spot where there's going to be concentrated fish, which this lake has a crib. And then also you have to have clear water. This camera is not the best definition for like other cameras that are out there. Um, it is small, so it's super compact. So it's more for like mobile use, but you can record on it. Uh, the footage is still 
amazing to look at. I mean, <laughs> yeah. there is nothing better than watching actual fish eat your lure. I mean, this is so much more yeah. fun than the flasher, and it's like, I would say it's even more fun than the freaking live scope, and the live scope's really fun to use. Yeah, the live scope is really neat because it's gonna give you a huge picture, and you can scan everywhere, you know? But this is like, truly the live view of that fish striking at your bait. I that could is watch so it all cool. Day. I yeah. honestly could watch it. Absolutely. All day. Well, there you have it, guys. This is our AquaView unit that we've been using. Again, we've been waiting to do this for a very long time. We have used this thing for finding structure, weed edges, gravel bottom, sandy bottom, transitions. We've used this for so long and we've wanted to use the recording option that we have on this to catch some fish. And that's exactly what we did out here today. So if you guys enjoyed this, let us know down in the comment section below because Again, we've never done this before. It's the first time ever we've done something like this here on the channel and uh, had a lot of fun with it. I've never seen so many fish actually just take your bait right on camera like that. So had a lot of fun out here. Again, if you guys wanna see more of these type of videos, let us know. You gotta have perfect conditions, that clear water and uh, getting it right in the exact right spot. When they are all schooled up like this, it is crazy how many fish you can get into. So again, guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to slap this video with a big old fat thumbs up. Comment down below if you wanna see more of these type of videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. It'll let you know anytime we post a video in the future. We'll see you guys on the next one. Tight line from NBS.